G'day guys, today I want to show you a system I call Friends of the Martingale. Now it's not actually the Martingale system, it's actually quite a little bit different because the way that we're placing the bets, the odds are quite a bit different which means we need to actually change how much we're betting on each progression um, as opposed to just doubling each time. Um, that actually works out a bit better than the Martingale because we're actually taking a more risky bet. We don't actually need to end up doubling our money every single time we lose in order to recoup our losses. But I'll show you exactly the betting progressions a little bit later. I've made up a nice chart that goes through and shows you all the different betting amounts for all the different bets you could place. Um, but the, the way that this sort of system works is it's based on what's called the friends of zero or the Vosson du zero as the French call it. Um, but basically what you can do is if you look down here when you actually play roulette, you can either choose to have a look at the roulette wheel like you traditionally would, you know, with your dozens and your, your columns and your streets and things. Or the other option is actually to look at the wheel as it is and we can see here that this is how the numbers are actually arranged on the wheel so if we have a look at this zero here we can see that this zero is next to the 32 which is next to the 32 which is next to the 15 which is next to the 15 so you can see that this is actually the physical orientation of the numbers the way this system works is what I've noticed is through playing on a site like this, especially the one that BitStars have, they seem to also be very biased towards the zero. Now I'm not sure if it's just the little bit of work that I've done or if they are actually more biased towards the zero, but I've found that placing your bets in and around the zero actually seems to give you a little bit higher odds than what you would expect. So the way this system works is Originally you want to choose your original bet amount. So I'll put the chart up now so that you can see the betting progressions. But for me, you can see that I've got a balance of $200 down here. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to go with the $1 progression because ideally what that means is I can fail once and then even after one failure, I'll still have enough money left over to continue the betting scheme another time. So what you want to do is you want to try and choose an option like this if they do have it available or you can place it on the numbers, it's just a little bit harder. So then what we're going to do is we're going to select up to four neighbours. So we want to be placing nine bets total. So after you've done that, I'm going to choose my $1 increment to start off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on this zero here and you can see that that copies all those four numbers. Now what this means is that we're betting $9 but on any one win we're actually going to win back 36 times whatever our bet was. So in this case $36 which means we're making a $27 profit. Practically we're four times in our money. So what we can do is now that we've placed that we're going to go for a spin and we're going to see if we win because Okay, there we go. So this one didn't win. Now this is where that chart comes in that I've made. So I've gone through and I've actually done a little bit of maths to work out how much you need to increase your bet by in order to recoup the losses for the previous bet. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at this chart and you can see I've got it up on a second screen here so I'm looking at it and what I can see is that after my first $1 bet, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to put, I'm going to want to place a $1.25 bet. So I'm going to place my original dollar, but now I'm also going to add an extra 25 cents. And this will put us on the second second progression. So we're going to go again and see if we win this. Now you can see why this is kind of similar to the Martingale because we're increasingly progressing our bets upwards in order to recoup our losses. But you can see we didn't have to double there. So we lost that one, so we're going to go to the third step, which if I have a look here is $1.56. Now you can't perfectly manage to match these numbers just because of the way that they've got their chips set up. So I'm just going to go with the closest that I have and that's $1.50. So then we're going to spin again. So here we go. And unfortunately we lost that one as well. So we go to the fourth step. Now the fourth step is $1.95. So for me, I'm just gonna do $2 since that's the closest amount that I can do. And then we're gonna go again. So at this point, it's now on our fourth step and it's only now that we've doubled our money. Or sorry, doubled our bet amount. So we lost, so we go to the fifth step. And that means for this one, now we need $2.44. So 
So we're going to go two dollars and I'm going to choose 50 cents just because that's that's the closest amount that we can get to. And we're going to go again. And hopefully if we cross our fingers, come on. Oh, we just miss out just nearly. So that means now that we've lost the fifth one, we go to the sixth attempt. So the sixth attempt for me is a three dollar and a five cent bet. So I'm just going to go with a three dollar bet. So you can see now that we've essentially used pretty much half of our money. So we're down to $98 and we started at 200. So we're going to go for this one. I've also noticed it seems to work if we wait and go spin when that zero is nearly on the bottom. Sometimes you get a bit more lucky. So there we go. This is a good example and this is where we don't continue the betting scheme. So we've managed to lose six in a row. Now that's okay because if you have a look at the maths on how long it takes you to lose six in a row, the chances of it actually happening are only 20%. That means if we were to play this system five times in a row, we would on average lose one of those six, one in those six attempts, which means four of those five attempts would actually be successful. Now, the way it's set up, we only actually need to win three before we win over $100 back. So that means if we're going to, on average of the five we play, we lose one, which means we lose $100, but it only takes three to make our $100 back. And on average, out of every five, we're winning four. That means on average, we should actually be making a profit. So I'm going to go again here. We're going to start back at the original betting scheme. So this is the thing. Don't keep progressing it because otherwise the maths doesn't work out. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our $1 bet again and we're going to spin and see how we go. So if we cross our fingers, oh, just missed it. That's okay. So we go to the second step, which is $1.25. So $1.25 and we go again and we don't get that one either. Now this is okay because as I said before, out of the five attempts we play on average, we'll win four. So we've still got, you know, four more attempts to go. So because we did our $1.25 bet, we're now going to go up to our $1.50 bet and go again. And we don't get that one either. Now, this is what roulette's like. Of course, the second I try and film this system, the wheel's just going to end up screwing me over. But that's okay because I have faith. I have full confidence in this system. Now, because we used a little bit more than half our money, I'm actually going to choose a lower bet underneath my... So normally I'd choose the... Because our bet is $1.95 we're aiming for. So rather than doing the $2 bet as I did before, I'm only going to go with $1.75 just to keep our money up to keep the next progressing, to keep the next scheme going. And boom, of course, when I lower my bet, we get a win. So you can see from that, we managed to make 63 bucks, which pushes us back up and over our original win amount. Had I gone with my $2 bet, then we would have recovered our losses entirely. So, but once on one win, we go back to our original betting scheme. So we're going to place our $1 back on there, go again, and we lose that one. That's okay. Because now that we've lost one, we should expect to win four out of the next five on average. Now, of course, we can't just take averages as guaranteed because we all know how that's, that's not how statistics work. But we can make it play more in our favor. So we're going to go with this $1.50 bet again. And boom, I'm pretty sure that's a win. Yes, there we go. So there's our second win out of, you know, our third attempt. So we're going to go again, place our $1 bet. And boom, that's another win. Beautiful. So if you can manage to get on a roll like this, this is where the benefit of this system actually will come in. Because if you were doing a martingale, you're only doubling your money. This is you're making $36 off a $9 bet. So you're practically tripling your money. So we go again. And I'm not sure why I did that one. I, I should have increased my bet there. It's very hard to talk and and play logically at the same time. But you can see we've now had our third win. Had I increased my bet there, we actually would have made enough in order to recoup our profits and come back to our $200. So we're going to keep going with this system a little bit more and we'll just see how we go. So we lost that one. So now we're going to go back up to our $1.25 and we play again. So 
this is while this should work on any other wheel and you know practically any roulette game in the country what i've noticed is that specifically this one here run by platypus european roulette on bitstars i've noticed that they really seem to like their zeros so boom there we go there's another win 54 bucks and we're back to our original starting balance so now we can, can if if i had not have lost that first hand i could have continued to keep playing you know and now that i've made that money i could have pocketed my 200 and now only started playing with my wins so there we go, there's another win. And we're gonna just rebet because when we win, we start at the start and just keep going. So essentially that's that's practically all this system is. It's a hybrid of the Friends of Zero and the Martingale strategy, just with the mathematics changed a little bit. So we lost that one. I'm gonna up go to our 125 and we're gonna keep going. So if you're interested in looking and trying to find this chart for yourself and so that you can see what the betting progressions are, I'll post a link down to an image of it so that you guys can download it and you know print it out on a little piece of paper and have it in your palm when you go to the roulette wheel so that you don't have to think. You can have your couple drinks and have a couple beers and not have to worry about trying to you know, remember what step you're up to and whether it's, oh, was it $1.50 or was it the $2, you know what I mean? Like that way, because I, I know I can't do these mathematics off the top of my head and I, I wouldn't really expect you guys to. So boom, there we go. And once you've actually managed to make a profit, so had I been, you know, playing, had I not lost that first hand at, at this moment, now I would have a profit of over $150. And that's the point at when you want to walk away is when you're nearly doubled your money, Continue playing until you can lose, you know, one more because at that point you've still got profits um, and then and then walk away. Like if you manage to get that series of wins, you just take it and leave because the longer you play roulette, the more and more the house will win. Eventually it will catch up to you. That's that's how casinos make their money. Like we know that these aren't infinite money schemes and if they were, casinos would be put out of business pretty damn quickly. But out of all the strategies I've tried, I think this is by far probably the most successful one. Um, and if you guys do want to try it out yourself, um, I'll chuck a link down to BitStars and, you know, a couple other online casinos that, you know, depending on what region you're in, they change, you know, whether or not you can log in because some of them are legal in Australia, some of them are legal in the US, some of them, you know, so there's a couple different casinos that I go through and some of them need VPNs, some of them give you better bonuses, some of them have worse bonuses, but easier, you know, claim requirements or wager requirements. They all, they all have their different intricacies. But other than that, I'm pretty sure you guys can understand how this system works now and how you can actually use these mathematics to, you know, generate a positive result for yourself. Not sure why I bet one there. It should have been higher, but I'm glad I didn't because it was a loss anyway. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something from this system. If you do, if you guys are interested in the mathematics behind it, um, just leave me a comment and maybe I'll go into making a video on how you can do the mathematics to discover, you know, how much you need to increase your betting rather than if you're, you know, doing nine chips or if you're doing 15 chips and, you know, changing these things and then working out how much, what's the likelihood of winning and, you know, how often and what the expected value of a system like this should be. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. And if you did, chuck a like and subscribe because it, it really does help me out. It helps the algorithm push this knowledge out to more people. And just in general, I, you know, it makes me know that what I'm doing is worthwhile. So I appreciate you guys watching right to the end. It's, it means so much to me. And I, I hope you guys manage to make some money off a system like this. Anyway, good luck, guys. Cheers.